Hey, Peter, I got an invite, and somebody said you're having your 80th birthday. I, this is art, and I had no idea that you were that old. I mean, that is prehistoric in the real meaning of the word. You even predate a guy that 9,000 years ago, Jack Saunders, moved from Calgary to the land of the little people in PEI. So I just happened to have some of the things that you encountered in your early in your life in your journey around the planet. So behind me is a great wood bison, which is a, a descendant of the bison that you saw when you crossed from Siberia to Alaska and came off the ice cap. This one happens to be the same size, 2,500 pounds. And you must make you feel good. You can see by the horns, the bones are starting to come through. This is a very old bison, 24, 27 years old. And I thought that it might bring back some great memories for me. Also, you know, when you came across into Canada, you had this Ulu knife, but of course yours was made out of bone. And I thought, well, I would show this to you and make you feel right at home. The other thing, there's a couple things in here that I have, so I'm just going to walk around for a minute and show them to you. So in this little pouch, you can see a bow and arrow. And this is from the Kalahari Desert, the Bushman tribe, the little pygmies. And in your years in Africa, you would have remembered that. And in the distance there, you can see the headdress from an Indian chief, Holy Eagle Man, that you likely remember. And then here are wolfskin mitts that you have to use when you're in the Arctic, because otherwise things go bad. And of course, they have the line on them so that you can have them around your neck so that you don't lose them when the wind blows and the blizzards come. And then... You know, on the distance there, you can see some brand new wolf skin mitts, which instead of being thousands of years old like the other ones, are like only a hundred years old. Kind of more my age, something like that. And of course the skins. And then up here is a relative of the saber tooth lion that of course you encountered when you were coming back and getting off the ice cap and stepping into Canada probably makes you feel right at home. I'm thinking you might be enjoying this. Now I'm gonna to go to other places. And here is a sketch of the great cave bear that you'll remember, because you would have encountered them. And I actually have a distant cousin of his that I'm gonna show him to you. But doesn't this bring back some great memories for someone that is so many thousands of years old? Yeah, of course, Peter. I know you remember the wolverine, and of course the many wolves you ran across. I have a wolf upstairs that used to be one of my partners, and you'll see him in a minute. But again, doesn't this bring back memories of all the things you did in the very long life you had before the planning department? Peter, you remember in medieval times when we had all the helmets, but what a lot of people didn't know, and of course you do, is the mice used armor as they were creatures that you wanted to look after. And I still have a re replica of one of their suits, actually an original. And then here again, when you were crossing from Siberia and off the ice cap, these are prehistoric and you're one of the few people that would recognize it, a muskox. And then over here, another helmet. Isn't it neat to go back into the life that you lived? Now, Peter, again, this is the great cave bear. And you remember them very well, don't you? And there he is. This is a distant cousin of his from Kodiak Island. And here he is again. Isn't it great to see all your old buddies after all these thousands of years? And here is a painting of some of the wolves I knew that you knew out on their own in that great trip you had. And I, like I said, I have a, 
friend of mine here that I knew for years, and here he is. So, Peter, we're back to where we started from, and I hope you enjoy your birthday. You've had so many. I mean, how could you keep track? And at any rate, I think we're all glad that you're doing well and that you're alive. And maybe on January 2nd, I might have a drink and I might think about you. You know, on the big long journey that was your life. Best of the best, buddy. All right.